All right, the Reds, we're back in hotels here on Anfield Road to discuss Liverpool 4, Burnley 2. The Reds back within a point of Man City at the top of the league. Uh, everything you wanted, that really, I think, in terms of they won, they scored some nice goals, they looked like, at times, they were on it. A uh, bit of a mad day, and are we allowed to talk about the weather <laughs> internet? Is that all right? Because I know you like to make a bit of a fuss any time anyone talks about the weather. I would not want to, to want to play footy in that. It was absolutely mad. There was rain, there was hail, there was wind, there was sunshine. Seeing Craig Allen at half time, and he said, there's five seasons there, and I know there's only four, <laughs> but, but we just witnessed five. Yeah. Uh, I've got Lizzie Doyle with me, I've got Paul Johnson with me. Um, Lizzie, what, uh, like I say, everything we wanted though, wasn't it? Ultimately, win, just fucking win, and we won. It was great, and I think we played well as well. I think it was a performance that we needed off the back of the derby as well. Yeah. Um, the front three were firing on all cylinders, and I don't know about you, but when I saw Lalana's name on the team, she's, I actually, like, out loud, was like, what? what the fuck? Yeah. Like, literally, think, what yeah, you've yeah, got, you've got Nabby, you've got Shakiri on the bench there. Why on earth is he playing Lalana? And I know Klopp can be a little bit stubborn with him, so... And, and I said to me, as soon as I left the house, I went to my dad, I hope he proves me wrong, and he did, because I think right. up until the point where he went off, he was man of the match, that block for the second, which caused the second goal. Um, I just thought we were great today. Even when they scored the second in like the 92nd minute no or whatever. No, it was, it was fine. And, and you know what, Liverpool's done the business today and they've done it well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Lizzie summed it up well there. But I mean, Trent, there's a few things, isn't he? Like Trent didn't play well, and Trent gets hooked in the end, and it meant a mad reshuffle. And Henderson's like full back, and you know, Firmino in midfield and all that. But I kind of think like sometimes maybe managers think I need to do that. Yeah. Just as a little message to him, like you haven't played well today. Here's a little kick up your arse. Yeah, and I think as well. You know, when, when we did change shape, it didn't it didn't affect us. No. You know, it, it, Henderson dropped in there. That was seamless. And I thought when he came on, he did really well. Henderson as well. Just kept the ball, just kept taking over, doing what you want, what you're captain to do, really. Um, and as you say, Bobby dropped in. Didn't cause any problems. We could have done without the you know their goal with with with, with, with what, what, I mean, minutes ago. Like, that's but, like their second shot. Yeah, in the yeah. Game, but, but, I mean, we said it probably it comes from uh, I think a foul on on Salah on the touchline. And we said just off show there. We thought Madden was poor. And, yeah. and okay, you know we don't want to go about referees. But it did have a bit of an impact on the game. But you said, Lizzie, I thought we, we played well. And you know, there was time when our football was great. Really, I think once we got 3-1 up, you know, I wanted us to go and score 4-5. or Because yeah. I think we could have. It looked like we were well, a little we bit... we did get 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, unanswered. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, once... Once we, were, once we were playing in the groove, we were playing really well. Um, and I think there was times where we probably looked at maybe, looked at maybe pass it to you know, one extra pass or so. There was a couple yeah. of times where you're thinking, it, it seems as if, well, we didn't know where the wind was coming from, but yeah. as you've already mentioned, it was all over the place. Wild. But there was a couple of times. It was mad think, just walking yeah. up to the ground, wasn't I it? Mean, like, first, like getting that blown first half as well, there was a couple of times where the ball was going one way and it actually stopped and came back yeah, the way. Yeah. And I know, obviously, you know, you got a lot of stick for the time of the wind against Everton, but it must have a massive impact when you're on Absolutely. the pitch playing. So, so we had to make And Anfield's still close to the sea. So guess what? <laughs> like the weather's a bit mad sometimes. I mean, you know, this is just the reality of, of what we're watching. Yeah. Uh, like, I think Paul says there that Burnley were never really in it, were they? And, no. you know, the first goal, obviously, we see, you see Alisson go absolutely mad. Uh, loads of lads had replays on the phones at half time, and we were all having a bit of a look. And it does look like the defenders literally, uh, okay. sorry, their, their players literally got his arms around them. Um, and he's absolutely fuming about it, and he seems to sort of get released late and tries to recover, and that's why it ends up in the net, and he's fuming with the referee. But they weren't having it. But I don't, I, I don't like the referee chat really. No. But they were all over him out. Oh, they, they were. were wrestling them all they game, and it was like, well, what, what does he have to do to earn a foul? Yeah. I know that it was. Is it Hendrick? I, th I think he was all over the show. I think. Barnes, he's, oh, he's horrible in that number 10, like he's him. horrible, but you, I think you know what to expect when you play Burnley, you know that the physical, you know that they're going to put challenges mm. in, you know that they're going to foul your left, right and centre, it's just how many go your way, but Liverpool were never at risk, even, even in that with that first goal, I think if we hadn't reacted so quickly, who knows, it could have been a different mm. story, but they literally did have the perfect reaction to pretty much straw, straight credit away. Credit where credit's you there, isn't it? Because, yeah. you know, you, when I'm, you show about walking up the ground before you're walking up and you're thinking, OK, I want this to be routine, they score. And in my head, you know, Burnley one of those teams, you go, OK, we're going to do that now. And, and you're going to break us down. And, and you're in my head thinking, come on, let's equalise. Well, that was, that was, that, I'm sure that's what, that was yeah. perfect, perfect for them, wasn't it? Them. Absolutely perfect. Because you, you've got nine men behind the yeah. ball then, and it's like, come on then, you've got yeah. to get through. We've managed to get yeah. a lead here at Anfield. But I think, I think it was said just before, wasn't it, that 
there was no real panic no. around it. And it like, I, I don't think the atmosphere today was the most raucous atmosphere you've ever no. been in, but it was positive. Yeah, definitely. You know, there was a little bit near the end, like at the 3 2, the fact that, you know, they, they still managed to. Get, get to our end and be able to get a ball. A few people were fuming around that. I heard that sort of uh, yeah. start to build up. Yeah. But by and large, across the 90, it was a positive atmosphere. Liverpool played well. Burnley weren't really in it. And we've got to be happy I, about I think that, when we look back as well, you, you go back to the Palace game where I think we go in one down, don't we? It's probably one of the only games yeah. this season where that happens. And, and the response to that was great. So maybe there is a bit more of a calmness about the crowd yeah. in particular. Yeah. The, the, the players, they, they go, OK, listen, we can see them going. Again, you, I haven't seen it back, but foul or no foul, it's a bit of a freaky goal. The wind probably took it, hasn't yeah. it? It's gone right in from the corner. Yeah. It's one of them where you have to brush, brush yourself down and get on with it. And as you say, Lizzie, the response was fantastic. I don't know whether there was a bit of a spin. It, 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 it seemed to go under there, goalie the first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's fucked yeah. it up. But you take that, and then as you say, Lallana's brilliant for the second one. Yeah, he blocks it down, and, and, and it's a crack and finish by Mane. And all of a sudden, I'm sat there thinking, barely 1-0 up on Anfield. 20 minutes later, we're 2-1 up. And without necessarily you know, breaking sweat, we, and, which is a massive, massive positive. And I think that's uh, one thing that I was really pleased with. Going at half time, going, you know what? We, 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 we potentially you know, go over a, a bit of a dodgy early or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and what, what did you make of Mo, Lizzie? Because he was like, you know, he's not, he's not going to get the, the headlines tomorrow, but he was in and around everything. He was, he was causing a nuisance, and as we said, they, they resorted to like strong arm tactics to try and stop him. But he was good, wasn't he? As my point. I've, I've walked out the ground, made up with him. I think yeah. he pretty much done everything but score today. Yeah. And do you know what that one with Mane at the end? I was thinking, <laughs> go on, just give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Come on, just be nice. Come on, Sadio. <laughs> but it's, it wasn't getting happen. But I thought, I thought Mo done really well today, and he, and he didn't stop running. Mm. It, and, and, I, and I don't ever compare like uh, Mo and Suarez, but there was just something about him today. He just looked hungry for it. And yeah. whether it's for his own personal headlines, I don't know. But Salah to me looked like he wanted it today. And he was getting stuck in there. And even though he had these big Burnley grocks all around him, <laughs> you know, he was he was still getting through. He was still he was still playing some great balls. And you know, um, that assist for, for um, Manny's first goal as well. It's great. I I think he, he can hold his head up high now. Uh, On to the next game. And you know, pick up where he left off. And for, for me, you know, as well, mate. You know, he, yeah. he was he, he was good today, and we, we all enjoyed that celebration, didn't we? Fantastic <laughs> quality, that one. <laughs> the thing is, as well, with Bobby, he just looked like he, you know, when he goes through those spells where he can pick a pass and pick the right pass. You know, the ball he gave to um, Trent Alexander and Arnold, and then he whipped it, and then Manny somehow managed to miss that one. I know, but yeah. But <laughs> again, it might look like a simple ball, but the weight of it and everything, the timing yeah. of it, because there's a couple of times where people go, play it, play it, play it, and he's so intelligent, Bobby. So I think, I think the front three there today, Manny scored two, Bobby's got one, Mo Holloway hasn't scored, just like at home against Watford, he really, really, he, he was up for it, and um, I've got to be honest, that Ben Mee's a good defender as well, yeah, and seasons. a couple of times Mo tried to go with him and, and he had the better, and you know, Mee beat him, but like you said Liz, he, he, he's, his last two home games, he can walk off going, you know what, I've, I've, I've contributed here, although I haven't scored, I've done my bit, and, and that'll come, and okay, that's the, that was the, the, the fifth game where he hasn't scored for us, and that takes it into an unwanted record that he's got. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I think at the end of the day, you know, he's. I don't think he's worried about who scored. We've won four two, and now those goals are coming. If he and you know, if he doesn't score till the end of the season and he's contributing like that, then so be it. I, I don't so be think it. it's any coincidence that the the front three played the way that they did, um, and Adam Lallana starts. I don't mm -hmm. think that's coincidence whatsoever. It just shows that that's the type of player, and especially for this game of Burnley at home, that was needed. I think. I was being a bit miffed had he started the midfield three that he started against seven. Yeah. And Henderson did do well when he came on, but yeah. that was because it was like for like, yeah. Genie comes off, Henderson comes in, yeah. does the same role and, and does it well. But Adam Milana bridged the gap there today. And, yeah. and, and no disrespect to Burnley, but it is only Burnley the quite a slow team. Because that, that for me was probably why, I mean, we're, we're not on the training pitch. We don't see what they do. Um, but for me, that's why I thought he went for Lallana rather than a Navi because they're quite said, a slow team. Yeah, he said, hasn't he, Klopp? I've seen it before, Neil Jones tweeted that he said, like, he was asked before the game, how come he started him? He said, basically, he's played really well in training. And, Fair play to him, and, and then he and, deserves and he's, it. He, he's looked one of the best players there, and he said, so because of that, I thought, oh, yeah. I'm starting him today, and he didn't let himself down, and did he? he? did that's, really that's well. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, when, when he the did, he, the we, we were laughing, walking up, though. You, you must be onto this as well. The, the, um, he, he definitely does loads of unnecessary cross turns, doesn't he? Yeah. And, and yeah. like, like yeah. we were like walking up saying, "Well, should we have like a little sweep on our <laughs> many?" Yeah. And like, to be fair, he didn't do that many. I, I only really spotted two. But there was one second half where he was just 
you know, he's sort of like in a bit of a playmaker position. No one no near him. Yeah. And he did one. And I was like, yes. It's like, like he's got to reach a certain you quota. Know, you know what you had? Did you ever <laughs> see this week? Yeah, yeah but, but. No, do you know what? Like you said there, Lizzie, probably, you know, again, you see the reaction on Twitter from some people and you think, you know, well, we're not seeing him every, every day in training. No. Same That's with Shakiri and, and Kaiter, exactly. And you know, people are saying, why is Shakiri not playing, etc. We don't know. But at the end of the day, you've got to trust your manager. And and, and hang on, 73 points. Well, I'm trusting them. Yeah. And, and and that's what we've got to do. And you know, there's eight left. And you know, next next Sunday we get a chance to go back top, don't we? Because obviously City don't play, yeah. and we go away to Fulham. That's psychological, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know, exactly. I know they've got a game in hand. Definitely. But is there a game in hand against United? I, well, I, don't, I think we play the same weekend as that. I don't know where they must. But think, even so, just exactly. that psychological yeah, edge, totally. isn't it? To, totally. to know that they've gone. If if we get the three points against Fulham, and yeah. they go, well, we, it's literally nothing yeah. less than that now because right. Liverpool will go back on yeah. top. And it's just the thing of just sort of not going away, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just just keep on knocking, keep on knocking. I had a little thing in my head. Which you know you do to yourself at times, don't you? And like I did it where I was like, I oh, know our head's gonna go a little bit. That were four points behind before the ball gets kicked today. Yeah, yeah. But it was fine. Yeah. It was all fine, and I, and I was made up with how it unfolded. Yeah. And and there we are, back back. You know, only a point behind them again. And, I, and it's just like you know the level they're at and the le- their consistent level. Hats off to them. That's it. But then we've we're staying there, we're staying there, we're staying there. And you've got to remember, like what was it last season? We finished twenty five points yeah. behind them. And here we are, eight games to go with every chance of winning the league. And that's that's all you want to be in it for, you know what I mean? Okay, listen, you can you can say, you know, if we do if we beat Leicester at home with this, with that. It's gone now. It's yeah. gone. All we've got is More what forward. we've got in front of us. Yeah. And today you said we go four behind last night and you know you have to respond. You go one down after what, three, four minutes, you can imagine the City fans, you can imagine the City team, yeah, potentially. Yeah. No no sweat, lads. No. We're going to win. We've won, we've won comfortably. Okay, yeah, you know, did a little scare at the end, but we, we end up winning 4-2. And we walk away here, job done. But it's, it's the message that goes on, and especially now you say, okay, the next team to play with us, and if we can go and be full and, and go back ahead of them, back in your hands, then in the City, back Over in, pausing you on your That's court, exactly. And, 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 you know, watching them last night, well, like they, they dominated, the, you know, and obviously a weakened Watford team. But you know, for me to get a forced decision, sometimes rubber the green goes against you. Another game, so you know, fingers crossed. I think the performance was really key today. I think a win. I think it's mad because I think say we we played badly and scrapped a one 0 mm. we'd all be buzzing. They doesn't. It, but yeah. I think also for confidence, especially what we were saying about Salah, yeah. because all the media saying up these headlines, how oh, we can't hit this. You know, what? How many goals is it that it, that he's meant to hit? 40-something goals. Nice you know, you know, oh. you know, like the, this individual record oh, that he's yeah. meant to be going for. Oh, he hasn't oh, hit oh, the last the couple 50, of games. The, yeah, the, 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 the Alan Shearer one, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know what? He's not soft, he is it. And he'll be thinking it. And, and, and as a competitive footballer, he will want to hit that record. Mm-hmm. So he hasn't hit it, but it was really important for him to have a good game and all of them to just play well, to then take this forward, to go in against Fulham. And Fulham are pretty much gone in my eyes. Mm-hmm. And they, they should go in to next week cocky confident yeah, and you know basically show, show City who's boss and say well and let you say invite them on and say well come on then come yeah. and catch us and it's the whole thing as well though, aren't we? I hate the eight ten bottlers and all that and I and do it's bottlers what, what, oh, it's, what, it's complete bottlers imagine being a bottler but being a point behind in exactly. the league exactly you know, a team who maybe are struggling and feeling the pressure they go four points behind they go one down against Burnley and, and we just responded and yeah, as you exactly. said we didn't just respond and end up you know just scraping it too well. We 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 probably could have won that game five or six, and and, and you know fair play to us. We're, we're back we're back there, and, and even goal difference now. I think we're only seven behind. So you know we get maybe Cardiff for home. We give them a hammer, and you never know. You know what I mean? So but bring it on. There's loads of character there. There's loads of Liverpool are great. It's great to watch Liverpool this season. We we should be we should be bigging them up. They're, they're absolutely yeah. brilliant. They're, they've done so so well. They've only lost one game all season in the league. Next up, it's Bayern Munich. I can't wait. I can't wait to get out there and see what happens. Then we've got the back to the league. Fulham, as you say, have conceded something mad now. Oh, is honestly, it 70 or just? I don't even know. I honestly, don't even know. It, like, they're not stopping our boys. They're just not <laughs> stopping our boys. That's been the post match pint. Thanks to Lizzie. Thanks to Jono. Um, Jacko. I, I always get confused. With that. <laughs> Jono, Jacko. His name's Paul Johnson. I don't know why they call him Jacko. It's Irish, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, that's been the post match pint. There's a post match show as well being recorded right now, just over there. If you don't subscribe already to the Anfield app, give that a go. Uh, everyone's buzzing, everyone's on a high. We all can't wait to get out to Munich. We're going to be doing loads when we're out there as well, so get on to all that. Up the fucking Reds.